Okay, look, the market is flooded with supposedly good antivirus software, but that doesn't make choosing a provider that's gonna match your online habits any easier. And yeah, protection is crucial. So at least I'm here to offer up some hopefully good insights for you. All right, look, I've tested endless providers over the years, and let me tell you, there's actually some dangerous stuff out there. Poor detection rates, ad blockers that don't actually block malware, and that's not even half of it. So today I've carefully curated an updated list of the best antivirus 2023 options with pros and cons for each. All right, first provider up is Total AV. Once considered an underdog in the antivirus world, but truly living up to that underdog becomes a superhero stereotype. I mean, independent testing scores show excellent malware detection rates, both with zero day threats and four week old malware. And that all means that your device is protected against newly discovered threats, which can be harder to uncover. Now in my own testing, you know, where I plant 10 malicious files onto my PC and then run a full system scan, Total AV scored the highest score, 10 out of 10. Now, these were all detected in around 18 minutes, but I couldn't instantly quarantine them. This means threats are still on my device as the scan runs and, well, could cause some damage. Now, having said that, there is real-time protection. So usually threats are determined instantaneously, and this is a crucial feature that I could not recommend any provider without it. Luckily, Total AV Antivirus has this enabled by default. Performance is also important, which is why I should mention Total AV took the longest out of the providers I tested to finish its full scan. But I also wouldn't say my computer was slower with Total AV running in the background. And if performance is a big consideration for you, well, they do have some system tune-up options with their entry-level premium plan, so that's good. Now, detection rates and performance are part of the antivirus 2023 pie, sure, but they're only a few of the slices. Throw in Total AV's ransomware protection and you've got yourself a stellar offering here. This can be found through their browser extension feature. And when I tested it out on a PC, it detected 10 out of 10 of the malicious URLs. But to be completely transparent, I gotta say the WebShield extension isn't as user-friendly as I'd like, and it can be a bit of a mixed bag on mobile devices in terms of blocking those annoying ads. Then there are the more expensive add-ons you get with the higher tiered plans. This includes a fully fledged VPN and password manager. After seeing Independent Testing Institute score Total AV Antivirus with top marks in usability, well, I did some testing, and once I installed and set it up, I noticed the streamlined dashboard in there. This is where you'll also find your plan dependent features. They're right under the relevant tabs on the left. See them? Great. All right, across different devices, your experience shouldn't vary too much. The mobile apps are equal to the desktop version, being fully fledged antivirus options right from your pocket. The biggest difference between them? Well, the iPhone version looks like it's lacking some stuff, but that's really only because there's built-in duplicate Apple features. So they drop the virus scans, basically. So finally, is Total AV worth it? Well, there is a free plan, but oh boy, it is really stripped back and can basically only remove current malware from your device. That said, to get all of the security features, the most expensive plan is really the only option. Now, hang on, I know that's not always possible for everyone on here. So if you want to get good protection at a lower cost, well, the entry level plan sits nicely at around $19 for the first year at the moment. And that's pretty average when looking at other competing plans. I'd say all things considered, it's definitely one of the best antivirus 2023 options. Now, another provider I gotta talk about is Norton Antivirus. Now, I noticed that on Trustpilot that over 60% of the reviewers gave four stars or above. So yeah, time to do some updated research for 2023, huh? Oh, and speaking of detection rates, Norton has a glowing past with avtest.org across all major categories. This goes back years too, and it's impressive when compared to other market leaders. But hey, I gotta do my own test, right? And well, Norton <laughs> didn't do as well, detecting eight out of 10 malware samples. Now, while those tests aren't as thorough as independent institutes, they can give me an idea of consistency and performance. For instance, Norton's full scan took around 10 minutes and it was one of the quickest out of my testing. One caveat here though, was that it was fairly heavy on my system resources. So not exactly perfect if you're gonna be doing heavy activities all the time. But despite having a lower score in my personal testing, I can't deny that Norton has a lot of protection against a whole host of threats. All right, looking a little deeper into its capabilities and features, the Smart Firewall is impressive. 
It's a two-way silent firewall, so it monitors traffic going in and out. And again, just as important as real-time protection and a must-have from any supposedly best antivirus provider. Now, there's also this isolation mode too, which is an added security measure that lets me browse at ease because if I do happen to visit a harmful site, well, it's gonna make sure no damage comes to my device by stripping the web page of any risky content before it's even presented to me. So yeah, gotta say this really is a full cybersecurity arsenal here. There's SafeCam, which blocks unauthorized access to your PC, and like TotallyV, the password manager and VPN are also great additions. But it is a shame that a lot of these extra features open up in different tabs meaning a beginner could get a little flustered at times. Now, having said all that, the main features are still accessible from here. If you can see past this little quirk, Norton is a fairly streamlined provider. Scanning options can be found on the drop-down menu under device security. And what's really cool is your security status can be seen here at just a glance. The desktop version was easy enough with an introductory guide after installation. And with regards to the mobile apps, well, I'd say the Android version has a couple more features than iOS and is arguably one of the best antivirus for Android options, but both still offer device security and protection as you browse. So you're good to go either way. Norton has been called expensive at times, but I honestly just don't see it. Despite having no free version, their entry-level plan is still currently the same as Total AV, just under $19 for the first year. Okay, but do you get the same protection? Well, it's only possible to protect one device at this price, and with Total AV, well, they're a bit more generous. Now, I will say the cheapest plan is basic and fine for a novice, but for people looking to protect their browsing too, well, the standard plan and above are tailored more toward advanced users, throwing in the VPN and dark web monitoring. Again, if you're considering this provider, I've got updated deals in the description for you to try them out. And another really popular antivirus provider that I wanted to do a fresh take on is Bitdefender. And if you were about to say they've had a good run, well, that would be an understatement. These guys have won AV Comparative's Product of the Year more times than any other antivirus provider. In their April testing, it blocked 100% of threats. And what's cool is the virus scan is based on a malware directory. So in short, this means it's capable of detecting unknown and known threats while being synced across a whole network. All right, time for my testing. Ah, look at that, nine out of 10 threats were detected, sitting comfortably just under total AV in terms of my testing scores. Looking at duration, well, Bitdefender Antivirus took around 17 minutes to complete a full scan. But what's more impressive here is the low impact that the provider had on my PC while running. With full marks in the AV Comparative's performance category, I don't feel like this was a fluke. This is all thanks to their scans happening within their cloud. So the impact on your PC is lowered and it's hardly noticeable when running in the background. All right, now looking under their cybersecurity hood, well, there's some must-haves like advanced threat defense and ransomware mitigation. The former is basically real-time protection, and the latter protects you against a dangerous threat that encrypts your precious device files and holds them captive. And another feature that amps up the value here is anti-spam, something I really appreciate since it works with your mailbox, scanning all the contents, metadata, and even the headers for signs of spam emails. Love it. They also have a password manager, a VPN, and even webcam protection. Nothing groundbreaking compared to what we've already covered, but I will say that the system optimization tools are really cool. They help me to clear up some space and there's even an option to do privacy cleanup. So Bitdefender is a reliable option with a good offering in terms of performance focused features and even in security. But what about its ease of use? Well, once you've got Bitdefender up and running, it's a breeze. Just know that it does take a while to install and get set up, at least compared to other providers. Now their UI is nothing revolutionary. It's a classic take on the antivirus dashboards. And to the left, you're gonna find all the main sections all neatly categorized in there. Now the desktop and Android apps, well, they're my preferred options because they are fully fledged versions with protections in most forms. So I'd say it's one of my best antivirus for PC options, but I really wouldn't recommend Bitdefender to expert antivirus users who want to use it on their iPhones. I mean, it's fine, but it's really more of a stripped back and watered down version of what they really can offer. And speaking of what they can offer, is all this worth the money? Well, there's actually a totally free version, but again, just like many other free plans out there, they are basic as hell. So I wouldn't call it the best free antivirus on the market. 
The biggest negative that I can find is only being able to protect one device, which takes us to the premium offerings. Are they reasonable? Well, starting currently at under $18 a year, their Plus plan is the cheapest that I've mentioned thus far. Even with their reputation alone and advanced architecture, I'd say this is a great value, and you can protect three devices with it as well. Now, another provider that you may be surprised to see here today is NordVPN. Yep, namely with their threat protection plan. Now, bear with me here, and I have added this for good reason, so stick with me. The first is that the company has a strong reputation and excellent security background. Second, NordVPN antivirus is a good option for someone who wants a layer of protection, but also at an affordable price. It gives you the ability to browse without worry while blocking malicious trackers, ads, and sites. Sure, calling it a full antivirus could be a little controversial, but what I do like most is that it can detect downloaded malware. Now, do keep in mind, it can only run scans on executable files, so it's a shame that this doesn't include Word documents because, oh boy, those are the common ways cyber criminals spread malware. Now, it does have real-time protection, which is super crucial and it's intuitive and it's great that it runs all in the background but i do wish it had a scan option like <clears throat> you know some more dedicated antivirus providers do out there now also i didn't face any ui quirks here and i think that any beginner is going to have a smooth experience it hasn't been audited yet so i did some testing against ransomware a growing threat that's become a booming industry for cyber criminals and nord detected woohoo 10 out of 10. They also detected eight out of 10 malware files that I planted. So pretty good for a new provider and it only took under a minute. Whoa. And just to make things super clear, this service has two options depending on your device, threat protection and threat protection light. The former only currently works on Windows or Mac OS. This version is more fully fledged with the ability to scan downloaded files. So if you're looking to use the mobile application, well, it's called the light version, which checks URLs only on the DNS level, and it works only if your VPN is connected. So it can detect malicious websites though, but it doesn't block ads or trackers. So in general, the threat protection feature is simple yet effective and all at a reasonable price. Now, if you've already got a NordVPN account, it can be activated for free as well. So go check that out. Now, going with a particular theme here, I wanna talk about Surfshark Antivirus. Again, a VPN provider that's branched out a bit, but they've done it with a different audience in mind. I found Surfshark Antivirus to be a lot more of a cybersecurity bundle, offering a VPN, antivirus, safe search, and alerts with their Surfshark One plan. Unlike Nord, they have a scan option, and while it isn't as lightning fast, it did detect my files in around 11 minutes. Now I gotta say, I am happy that they've made some adjustments since my last review, adding real-time protection and expanding their software to macOS users. Woohoo! Yep, now you can access Surfshark One on most of the popular operating systems, but sadly they don't have a firewall yet. So I couldn't really recommend them to diehard cybersecurity enthusiasts. Now I did a lot of testing with this provider recently, and I gotta say it's a streamlined experience and a reliable option. What I like most is that this company has such a transparent background. I've used their VPN for quite some time, and that alone has been a consistent experience, so I'm really glad they've branched out here. This plan does feel like a good value, with having so many dedicated tools all housed under one roof, and it's really competitively priced. Just know that your only option is the full bundle since you can't get the antivirus as a standalone plan. But hey, why not cover all your bases at once, right? Now, to save you some time, I've got two notable mentions that I wanna quickly recommend. Avira Antivirus, it's a great free antivirus provider that also has stellar premium plans. With impressive independent testing scores, Avira successfully blocked 99.2% of threats. But what I really like is that they pretty much offer most of what I'd expect, real-time protection, a VPN and password manager, and even a free version that is simple, but a great start for beginners. Now, having said all that, I was a little disappointed that the free version lacks web protection, so you might want to consider the premium counterparts for more sophisticated protection, which, yeah, 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 can look more expensive compared to the other providers that I've mentioned. 
And a final shout out goes to McAfee Antivirus. Whoa, 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 quit screaming. Stop jumping to conclusions here because McAfee has changed a lot in recent years. And I was surprised just like many of you to see that it does a lot more than just basic malware protection. McAfee has a password manager, a VPN, and even encrypted storage, including tools to speed up your browsing and protect all your documents. Now, I will say I didn't run into any problems navigating their UI. The scanning options are clear, but the iOS app doesn't have as much to offer as the Android and desktop versions do. Now, one big factor why I've added them to this list is that the independent testing scores speak for themselves, detecting 100% of a whole host of malware and they boast impressive security features like a firewall. So to be honest, looking at their pricing, <laughs> yeah, well, gets a little confusing, doesn't it? And they aren't exactly the cheapest on this best antivirus list. But hey, I will say they do have so much to offer regardless of your online habits. Now look, even experienced internet users still fall victim to device hijacking or loss of data by downloading those annoying malicious programs. So that's not only why using an antivirus is important, but finding one that has all the features you need for your daily activities is crucial. Now, I can't tell you which one to get, but I can say that all of these top antivirus options are trustworthy. Now, whether you need a cheap and reliable fix like Total AV or a lightning fast provider like Norton, it's all gonna come down to your personal preference. Just promise me that you will get protected, please. And on an important note, at least for me, how did you find our little best antivirus software video here? And did I skip something that you were dying to know about? What should we cover next? You can ask those questions and drop me a comment and say what you gotta say right down in the comments, all right? I'd love to provide you with all the best possible content and the only way to know that is by you. All right, so don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos just like this and more, and I'll catch you in the next one.